Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide, and today we are going to see about the annotation in Azure Data Factory. So, what is the annotation and where we can use that in the real time? So, annotations are additional informative tags that can add to specific factory resources. The resources could be pipeline, data sets, link service, and it triggers. By adding the annotation, you can easily filter and search for any specific factory resource. Second, a tag allows you to classify or group different objects in order to easily monitor them after an execution. You can create multiple Azure Data Factory annotations. So this is basically if you want to doing some of the group for one type of pipelines and doing another group for another type of resources so for that purpose we can use the annotation and this is very important while you are going to deal with the real-time environment so go to on the azure data factory and we'll try to implement this in practical so we are under this azure data factory so here we can see the pipeline so let me quickly add few of the pipeline so like this pipeline for example, this pipeline is Sales India. So this is going to get the data for Sales India. Let me add another pipeline. So let me call this pipeline as Sales US. And we'll have another pipeline. And that will be Sales UK. So this is for Sales UK. So here we have three pipelines. So all these pipelines are going to loading the data for the sales. So we can call all these pipelines as a group of sales. So how we can add the annotations for all these. So here we can see under the property. Here is the option for the annotation. So let me click on new. Here we can add the annotation like sales. If you want to add multiple annotations, then we can add one more here so we can add the multiple annotations as well let me delete this so the second one for the india sale let me add the annotation for this as sales as well let me add the annotation of sales here as well so this is for the pipeline level now here let me use some of the weight activity because the main purpose of this video to understand about the annotation so we can add the weight here similarly let me add the weight trans and for the uk as well let me add that weight trans here as well so we have three pipelines with the weight let me try to publish this as we have added that annotation in all these three pipelines so what is the purpose of this so once we are going to trigger all these so let me trigger this first let me trigger this second. Let me trigger the last one as well. Now let me go in the monitor tab. So under this monitor, under this trigger, let me try to refresh this. So it should be going to display all the executed pipeline along with the in progress pipelines. So here, as we can see only three pipelines. So it's very easy to get the pipeline by which we want to check for example if we are having 100 or more than 100 pipelines here then it's very difficult to find out the sales pipeline among all these so how we can filter out by using the annotation so for that here we can see the add filter so let me click on this here we can see the option for the annotation so let me select that one here we have only a single annotation with the sales so that's why we can see sales so let me select the sales so it will be going to filter for the sales annotation as we can see all these are coming from the sales annotation and here we can also verify for the sales if we are going to have multiple annotations then we can filter accordingly and we will see only those groups of the executed pipelines so this is the actual use of the annotation let me go to the manage and under this manage here we can see the link service so once we are going to create any new link service, then we will be going to see the annotation there as well. Let me click on this new. And here, let me try to 
select Azure Blob Storage. If you can scroll in the bottom side, then here we can see the option for the annotation. So we can add the annotation and we can apply the filter on this. So here we can filter annotations. We can see any. So we can filter out the annotation that we will be creating. If you are having more than 100 or more than 500 link services, then annotation will be good. Second, we can check the annotation on the triggers. So go to on the triggers and here let me click on this new. Here let me scroll in the bottom side. Here we can see the option for the annotation. So we can add the annotation here as well. Let me go on the data set level. So on the data set, we can also add the annotation. So here we can see the data set. So in this data set, let me try to add a new data set here. So the data set is the Azure Blob Stories and delimited text file. Here we can select the link service. So that is selected. Here we can browse and we can select the path by which we want to get the file. So we can choose any of the file first row as header. So everything we have done, let me click on OK. So it will be going to create this delimited text. So under this delimited text here on the property, we can see the annotation. So annotation can be added here as well on the data set level. So on these levels, we can add the annotation and we can filter out whenever it is required. So this is the actual purpose of the annotation. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.